Question 2. The graph of f of x equals 3 over x minus 1 plus 2 is shown. The graph of f of x is transformed to get the graph of g of x as shown. What transformation was applied? By observation, it can be seen that quadrants 2 and 3 are a reflection of quadrants 1 and 4 respectively on the graph of g of x. Hence the answer is option A. By deductive reasoning, option B is wrong since the square root of f of x is undefined for values of f of x less than 0. So in other words, any part of the graph of f of x that's below the x-axis. And there should be a gap in the graph of g of x around the origin. Now option C is wrong as f of negative x would simply reflect the entire graph of f of x in the y-axis. And option D is wrong as the vertical asymptote from f of x should have moved to where f of x is equal to 0 and g of x equals 0 where the vertical asymptote exists on f of x.